And a shout out to the charity event, a special evening at Congress Hall in Cape May, New Jersey. The annual event, sponsored by talk show legend Harry Hurley and Atlantic City's WPG, is part of an ongoing fundraiser that has raised over $500,000 over the last seven years for South Jersey charities. Dawn and I were proud to be the event's keynote speakers. If you have an event or charity that you'd like us to make a shout out to, go to www.anotherthing.tv. Hi and welcome to Cape May's historic Congress Hall. I'm Dawn Stenslin-Menti with the story of a very special event that happens here every year with all the state's important movers and shakers and difference makers. Harry Hurley, nationally revered and locally loved. The legendary radio host and voice for his home state of New Jersey is revved up about the $82 million sale of Revel Casino and Hotel that's hoped to pump big bucks and jobs into the struggling economy. We have the sale of the Revel. We have the sale of Stockton and Showboat through Glenn Straub, the, the owner now of Revel. You have this whole concept of the Phoenix Project, which could be one of the biggest things to ever happen in Atlantic City. But the buyers dream to spend half a billion dollars to rebuild Revel and create a family-friendly complex that would include indoor and outdoor water parks quickly turned into a nightmare. A power plant dispute left Revel without electricity and the new owner facing $7,000 daily fines and court battles. There should have been a ticker tape parade down Pacific Avenue and on the boardwalk for Glen Straub, not $7,000 a day in fines. It's a disgrace. It's a frustrating time for the state government, many local governments all, all around the land. We've got some big, tough challenges rooted in uh, the, the economic challenges of, of our time. So, you know, I get passionate about trying to put people to work. Lawmakers and business leaders who gathered here at Congress Hall agree with host Harry Hurley, who believes divisive politics and media hurt all of us. If you're going to complain about what's wrong, step up and offer solutions. So we don't have all the answers, but we talk to a lot of people every single day, and we do try to come up with ideas because it's one thing to be just somebody complaining about what's wrong. I'd rather be a part of the solution. Hurley says history shows us that when Americans work together, great things happen, especially during tough times. And here at Congress Hall, built in 1816, the planning is already beginning to celebrate its 200th year as America's oldest, most historic hotel. Reporting from Cape May, New Jersey, Dawn Stenslamenti. Up next, Larry's commentary for another thing.